So here we see the 12, the back of the 12 by 12 ping pong ball array all wired up. The black pixels are ones that I had problems with. They failed for some reason uh, or another, I don't quite know why. But by using ones with black tape, that helps me to see which ones I've replaced and what I've already done. When it came to the power, there were several different options. Uh, according to the data sheet, each near pixel, if it's driven full on, will consume 60 milliamps. So with 144 of them full on, that would be a bit over eight and a half amps. In reality, when I've measured these, a whole bunch of them running at the same time full on, I don't, I've never seen anything more than 45 milliamps full on. So that's the number I go with typically. Uh, and that means that with 144 running at 45 milliamps, we've got uh, about six and a half amps of power. So one way that we could wire this, uh, you can see the wires coming down this side, the power and ground wires coming down this side. Uh, one way would have been to take one power wire and jump it all the way down the side, and one ground wire and jump it all the way down the side. Uh, this wire is only rated for three and a half amps. So what I would also have done is then take them down the other side and wire the power and ground down the other side. Uh, and that does have a lot of advantages because that way if any of the power or ground connections fails going across the power will be picked up from the other side. Uh, so that gives a lot of redundancy, very useful technique. But it also means a lot more wiring, a lot more effort. Uh, another idea would have been to take two power wires to each one and two ground wires to each one. What I actually ended up doing was dividing things up into three groups of four strips. So this group of four strips is all fed from one power wire. This group of four strips is fed from another power wire. And this group of four strips is fed from another power and ground combo. And that means that we've got uh, three and a half amps capability for each group of four, which gives us uh, ten and a half amps capability overall, which is way more than we need even if we're using 16 milliamps per pixel so the next step the next video will show this all lighting up uh, hopefully wonderfully